Years ago, in a remote corner of Zambia, I met an eight-year-old boy who grew up on a dirt floor under a thatched roof and whose best item of clothing happened to be a Boston Celtics t-shirt. Now, he didn't know the meaning of the words on his chest. The shirt probably came from some pile of donations, but it showed the reach of the NBA brand. You see this a lot in the developing world. And tonight, there are some good-hearted men within the NBA trying to help similar children in ways that go far beyond secondhand t-shirts. Here's Jeffrey Kaufman. All right, here we go. One last time. One last time. Ready? Swing it. Recover. They just might be the luckiest boys in Africa. And maybe the world. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Selected from 20 countries, flowing here to Johannesburg for four days of intensive basketball coaching. Basket one, far side, go. From some of the biggest names in the world of sport. NBA, we are coming. NBA, we are coming. That's NBA, as in National Basketball Association. And that is NBA All-Star Dikembe Mutombo. All seven foot two of him. You put a lot of energy into this. Why? Because somebody did care for me, for me to be where I am today. I felt like it's an obligation to me and my duty and my power to make sure that uh, the next generation succeeds as well. Drive it! Drive it! Organized and paid for by the NBA, they call this basketball without borders. Attack! See the help? Where's my help? Where's my help? Get over here. These kids have all played basketball before and shown some promise. They come from countries most of us couldn't locate on a map. Cameroon. Mali. Egypt. Ivory Coast. Get to your spot. Go ahead, swing it. That is Mark Hughes, director of scouting for the New York Knicks. This is his fourth year volunteering as a coach here. What do you think the kids get out of it? They have heart, passion, they play hard. What they don't have is a lot of great instruction. Guys, when we say attack, we want you to try to drive the ball to the basket. Are you here as a scout or as a volunteer coach? Yeah, well, I'm here as both. In dual roles, basically. So, conceivably, will you go back and say, hey, there are a couple of guys here, we got to make it Absolutely. Oh, good shot, boy. Just ask Luke Umba Amute. Ten years ago, okay. he was a wide-eyed kid from Cameroon at the first of these NBA camps in Africa. Good shot, good shot. That was a nice cut and a deep catch by Bahamute. Today, he makes almost $5 million as a player with the Milwaukee Bucks. He's one of six Basketball Without Borders graduates now playing with the NBA. For kids, they have the rights to stay kids, you know, and kind of basketball bring them back to that stage, you know, going through all the stuff they're going through, wars, rapes and uh, different, you know, some of them losing their parents. When they get the ball, they, they become kids again. So this past week... UNICEF has a hand in this, too. They use these guys as ambassadors to help get a message to Americans who often tune out when they hear the words Africa and poverty. I get that UNICEF worries about food, about water, about shelter, but basketball? When the big players stand at the podium and talk about their game, but also talk about the children of Africa, America hears it. Block and block. When you look at the faces of the boys in this clinic, do you see something different from a clinic of American kids? I see a certain gratitude level that's different. And I see them looking for a road out. Not a road to glory, a road out of poverty. <laughs> Many of these boys have never been outside their countries before, never been on an airplane. Okay, so show me what you can do. At six foot eight, Mawich Gade is from Africa's newest and one of the world's poorest countries, South Sudan. For the moment, though, he is thrilled to finally have shoes that fit his size 17 feet. This is amazing. So I'm really happy that I, I got these shoes without paying. So this is very... It's very good, really. Good, good, good. By the fourth and final day of NBA camp, you start to see a difference. Go, 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 go. The boys have been divided into teams, and they are playing better, playing as a team. Hamza Abdul Malik is from Nigeria. What have you learned here that you didn't know before about basketball? I have learned that um, the more I share the ball, the more my teammates want to play, the more they want to participate in the game. And the better chance we have to win. Mark Hughes, the scout from the New York Knicks, has seen some promising prospects. Any of them impress you? 
Yeah, I think a lot of the kids were impressive. The thing I, I love about working with this group is that they're so energetic. You know, for us, there are a few guys that, that I think may have a chance. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Most, of course, won't make it to the NBA, but they will go home with skills that they can pass to others. On a continent filled with despair, this is about using hoops to explore hope. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline in Johannesburg.